Hi everyone. Welcome back to the sunny side. These are the weekend horoscopes for the weekend of April 15th to April 17th. 2022. Before we begin, please share the video. It only takes a quick moment to share the horoscopes on Facebook and Twitter. So please help out the sunny side and click the share button below this video. Next. There are timestamps in the description box. And closed captions should be turned on. And. As usual. This video will have the general transits followed by the individual signs. So feel free to skip ahead and I'll catch up with you later in the video. Finally. Sunny. And SLC are back in Chicago and Sunny is booking private psychic astrology readings again over Zoom now that he's back. So. If you'd like a private reading simply click the PayPal link in the description box and he'll contact you to set it up. Or you can subscribe to the channel and tune into one of the many live streams where Sunny does short mini astrology. Compatibility. And past life readings. Simply check the description box or tune into the live stream. Okay. Everyone cool. Here we go. This weekend we're going to have a big friendly. Flirty. Possibly social. A little bit of shopping. And definitely looking good. Libra full moon. This means. Wherever Libra is placed in your natal chart. You can expect to be putting a lot of attention there this weekend. The full moon will uncover hidden secrets. Desires. Longings. Or feelings. Especially concerning relationships of all kinds. It might also uncover a new way of doing things. The full moon will be a tipping point. Some people might uncover hidden potential but. It can go either way. And it will happen fast so be prepared. Nothing will necessarily be too crazy. But you will find out some stuff. Remember. Libra likes to talk. Many people will reconnect with peeps they haven't seen during the hibernation. While others will be digging through boxes of stuff that has to be tossed. Again. It doesn't have to be too crazy. The full moon does happen every month. Quick note. As the moon cycle pertains to our horoscopes. It's not like the moon energy disappears and reappears during its cycle. You are always doing your moon whether you realize it or not. Now. During the full moon. Whatever events or desires that you have under the surface. Will be exposed. Okay. Back to Libra. Because. The full moon is in Libra. We'll notice the strength of the moon's impact on our emotions playing out in a very Libra kind of way. This means. We'll all be thinking about how we can help each other and possibly dress like each other. I know it's weird but it's only once a month so be cool. This Libra energy also involves teaming up with others to accomplish your goals. And. We'll all be a little boy crazy. So. If your goal is to make the beast with two backs. Then a Libra full moon is your ticket to action. Next. There's a lot here and we have to get to the horoscopes but. Under a Libra full moon. People will be extra indecisive. And judgmental. They will still want to bump uglies. But the peeps will have the scorecard ready so be cool. Finally. Success during this transit involves. Pace and confidence. You don't want to rush the Libra romance game. But at the same time. Weak game will be severely punished with exile to friend zone. So good luck. Sunny says Libra is a pretty cool sign. But they are cardinal air energy so whatever you think is going to happen. Libra is already five steps ahead. Just saying. Be careful. Sunny also heard someone remark that Libras are born with glitter in their veins. So. Take it all with a grain of salt. Maybe a glass of wine. And Groupon is an acceptable date idea but. Libras give what they get. So. Be your best and together. You will super shine. Or drop some dumplings on the floor and you'll be waiting in the car while Libra is saying a slow goodbye to their. Not friend zone friend upstairs. Next. Dear Aries. Your heart is going to explode anyways. So you might as well go for it. I get it. There is a lot of action going on behind closed doors and you're not ready to bring love into the light just yet. That's okay Aries. Keep the bedroom door closed. And let everyone guess where those squeaks are coming from. That's kind of the action for all of the love happening for you right now in your 12th house. So take it easy. Pull the curtains closed. And oil up. There's a full moon in Libra and Aries is being called to action. Now. On a tricky side. Mars has just dropped in to say hello. So in addition to the usual negative stuff of being blamed for things. And attracting haters. Aries will get a boost of pushy let's get things done but don't tell anyone action. No Aries. 
Everyone is looking at you. But the planets are encouraging you to sneak off somewhere secluded. I know. It's not really Aries but that's the action for this cycle. Final note. Love is there right now. You just might not see it. But. Sunny says. That's the fun part of the full moon. You'll feel it and know it's there. Good luck Aries. Dear Taurus. Health matters. Your habits. And believe it or not pets. Will all come into focus this weekend. So. Watch everyone's health and take the dog for a walk if you get a chance. It's not really a weekend to begin a new habit or to change anything but. Everything you've been doing behind the scenes is going to be blurted out so be careful. Now. Keep in mind. This full moon energy is for better or worse. So. If you've been working out and you look great. Then everyone will notice. If you have slipped a little then that will be noticed. This weekend you will also find out hidden intentions at the office and with someone you see often. You should get your answers. But are you asking the right questions? Is it really what the other person wants right now? Or should it be about what you want? It's up to you Taurus. In other astro news. Mars has just entered the game to shake things up in your social network. You might make a big social media push. And you might meet someone online. If there's anything to watch this weekend. It's your behavior in the comments sections. You're putting a lot of energy into being social. Just keep in mind that toes will be stepped on and fights might occur. But love is still looking for you from your friends and online. So. Good luck Taurus. I hope you find the love you're looking for. Dear Gemini. I'll bet when you step outside. People are everywhere. And some of them are even coming up to you and saying. Yo Gemini. What's up? Yes. Gemini. Venus is at the top of your chart indicating you are going to be visually popular. And easily identifiable. So. 100% look your best when you step outside. And. Be prepared. Just because you haven't seen anyone in a while. Doesn't mean they won't randomly walk up to you at the grocery store. Controlling factors. And things simply out of your control still prevent you from really getting a good foothold on your long-term goals. No. It's not okay to let your dreams slide. But at the same time Saturn has remained in your ninth house of higher expressions. And travel. So. Although travel is on the horizon. Remember. It's being blessed and cursed right now by Saturn so watch your step. Hard work will help you through it. Some Geminis will straight drop out of school. Next. Gemini. The full moon is going to super highlight your love game. So. If you have a crush on someone. Or vice versa. Or their sister. Or your kid's piano teacher. Whatever. This weekend under the full moon. You're going to find out who's really DTF. Down to Friday. Seriously Gemini. Sunny says a trip to the pub with the peeps will reveal secrets in love. If you're not looking for love. Then a creative project will be finally launched. Like getting pregnant. Just be careful. Dear Cancer. You don't want to hear this. But Pluto is going to turn retrograde in your seventh house of relationships. Legal stuff. And open enemies. On April 29th. So as much as you'd love to dig yourself deep into the sand. Or crawl into the biggest soup can on the beach. That's just not the action for crab love right now so be cool. There is a relationship shift on the horizon. Because it's Pluto. There's probably nothing you can do about it. On the plus side. After a bit of Pluto style pain. That truthfully you should be familiar with by now. There will be a very silver lining. So cancer. Be prepared for legal gaffes. And sudden reversals of plans. Just be ready for it. Next. Cancer. You might be thinking about your place in the world. Or you might be looking out into the world to see what's out there waiting for you. It's a great time to look and definitely reach out but you're probably not going to get the responses that you'd like until next month. Unfortunately. That might be too late. So you really have to put the pedal to the big wheel and make some tracks. Quick note. Sunny actually had a green machine growing up. Yes. Mama and Papa Sunshine are that cool. Cancer. Higher learning and travel are encouraged right now. If you can get away this weekend. Or any time this month. Then you should just take a break and go. As for the full moon in Libra. Well. Libra's easy breezy nature doesn't always jive sexy fun time with Cancer's oscillating emotional intensity so just take it easy. Something will be found at home. Dear Leo. What's the action player? Relationship drama should finally be over but with Saturn remaining in your seventh house of committed relationships. 
you'll be feeling a loss for a while. On the plus side, Mars has left your seventh house and is now adding its drama to your eighth house of death. Taxes. Fooling around under the covers. Sickness. And general bad stuff. Now, Venus is also there. And it's hanging out with Jupiter and Neptune. So although you are definitely attracting death. Money from death like an inheritance. And a possible legal entanglement. If you're really lucky. Someone might try to put their finger in your bum. So. It's not all bad for Leo. As far as the full moon is concerned. Something is going to pop out in a telephone conversation. Or on a short trip in your local community. There is a possibility that questions asked. Will reveal more than you might realize. A veil will be drawn aside from your brothers and sisters. Exposing a truth you've only suspected. Be cool and act surprised. There's also a possibility for car and transportation or computer problems. But it's more likely that with the Libra moon putting everyone into a shopping mood. You just might window shop for a car or computer. Seriously though dear Leo. Watch your money right now. An expense is coming. Finally. This is the week where a shake-up is coming at work. Good luck Leo. Sunny always wishes you the best. Dear Virog. Are those wedding bells that I hear dear Virog? Sunny says super congratulations. Here's an interesting note. The basketball player James Harden is a Virog. And he teamed up recently with Joel Embiid. Who is a super lucky Pisces that might win the NBA MVP award. Sunny is mentioning this because. It's finally time for Virog to shine with and through their relationships. I know everyone wanted me to say in your relationships but let's look at it a little differently today. Back to the basketball. Dear Virog. You should be positioned to win it all right now. Not just in the fickle and ever-changing game of love. Right now you should be able to see exactly where your peanut butter is coming from. And you should also be able to figure out how to turn that peanut butter into a nice sandwich. If you're a savvy Virog with life expectations. Then like James Harden. You should be looking to hook into a nice and ready to blast off superstar. And together. Get to wherever it is that you Virog would like to go. In other words. Harden appeared to be really helping the other guys on the team achieve their personal goals so that he could achieve his ultimate goal. And that's your action Virog. After. The last couple of years of sufferings and straight sock soaking BS. It's your time for rapture. And you don't want to miss your ship. Dear Libra. Time to tighten up your game. Normally. When the moon is in your first house or crossing your natal sun. You become a little moody and inconsistent. There's usually a strong desire to change the way you look. And generally focus on yourself. It's not really a big deal. This weekend however. We have a big full moon exposing things about Libra in particular. That you might have wanted to keep secret. Absolutely watch out for pimples and facial blemishes being noticed. If you ever wanted to step into the limelight or let someone know that you like them. Then this is the time to do it. Or rather. It's going to happen anyways so get ready. Now. For the rest of the astro action. Your sixth house is currently jacked with love. Affection. And a little bit of blur. Be careful at the gym. You might overdo it. Sonny knows what he's talking about. I personally saw him overdo it at the gym and he broke his personality. Boy. That was one grouch ass Scorpio for a week. Okay. Back to Libra. Mars is entering Pisces. So the pace will pick up. Take notes. Use a day timer. Do whatever you have to do to get yourself in gear. Life is going to get very busy and you'll want to be ready. Love is waiting at the coffee shop. The gym. Or at the office. Dear Scorpio. Get ready for the royal snafu in your love game. A shake up is coming. No. Scorpio take it easy. Not this weekend. But it's on the way. Mars has just entered your fifth house of fun. Creativity. And romance. Mars will be joining Venus. Neptune. And Jupiter. All in Pisces. So. It really is game on for love as far as Scorpio is concerned. Keep your eyes open for smiling faces. And be brave when saying hello. The nature of Mars in the fifth house indicates a problem with children and romance that won't last. But so what? I already said a change was coming to your relationships so it's out of your hands anyways. There's no point is holding out for something that is the opposite of the inevitable. Give fate a chance and say hello. Just don't expect this little side piece or any other to necessarily work out. On the other hand. Benefits are always nice. 
and you don't have to Scorpio bond at a karmic soul level every time you want a little wink wink good time fun under a super flirty Libra moon. Chill out for a bit. Like seriously. Libra energy is social. And flirty. Then you see where it takes you. And. If her husband is still at work when you guys are warmed up then have some fun. But if he's going to be waiting at the dinner table when she gets home. Then maybe you should drive around the block a couple of times before you drop her off. Just saying. Dear Sagittarius. As the planets continue to distance themselves from recent drama. It's time to turn your attention homewards. Why not? I get that spring cleaning isn't really your thing. Especially with the moon in. Let's all hang out and have some fun Libra. So. Maybe invite everyone over and just leave the cleaning for next week. Sunny notes. This is a very good time to make money from real estate or a home-based business. So. You can goof off with the peeps if you like. But this is still the time to take advantage of the love at home. The spotlight is on dating and having fun so if you're looking for a little romance then smile and have some fun. Some Sagittarians will take a big chance on love. A little wardrobe malfunction goes a long way with a friend itching to share their secret. Just watch out for the itching part. Next. Movement is somewhat restricted. But you still have places to go. You might have to ask for a ride. Also. Make sure you don't drop your cell phone. What else Sunny? Okay. No Sagittarius. It's the same as Gemini energy right now. The astro buildup in Pisces isn't really your bag but what can you do? The vibe is coming from home and family so break out the warm sweater. Glass of red wine. And chill your game with some of Sunny's old videos. Dear Capricorn. Just because the financial crises are over. Doesn't mean you get to suddenly break the bank and buy a new car or computer. Yes. There will be an opportunity to add to your toy chest but hard work is paying off right now and Sunny thinks you should save your pennies. On the downside. There might be car problems in the next couple of weeks. So what can you do? Look for sales and bargains. They will be waiting for you. It's kind of exciting. Especially with the shopping and boy crazy Libra moon. Lol. Sunny knows. That's not really Capricorn's action but he also thinks you should chill out and enjoy the weekend a little. Again. Hard work is paying off. So everything will work out. Does it suck banana seeds? Yes. But you can do effort. So you can do this. Great Sunny. What about love? Okay. Capricorn love is coming from little short trips. Or from your closest friends and kin. Love is waiting on a telephone call or media. Capricorns should be reaching out and saying hello. The first move will go a long way to success this weekend. Peeps aren't really moving towards Capricorn right now. They are moving towards Pisces. And Pisces risings. Peeps might however. Reach out on the phone to Capricorn. This might sound silly but you should sit down and write a love letter. Before we move on. Something weird is about to happen in your love life. Very seriously. Expect the unexpected this weekend. Especially with the kids. Love. And a creative project. If you were looking to accidentally get pregnant. Then this would be a great weekend to forget to take your preventatives. Good luck Capricorn. And remember. Sunny loves kids. Dear Aquarius. With the moon in Libra. You should be feeling social and ready to explore the world. You should get out and have fun this weekend. Interests should be light and perfect for Aquarians who need a break from recent stress. Some Aquas will want to get away for the weekend. Now. Here's the real astro action for the next while. Money should be good and it should be arriving from all directions. But Mars is entering the game this weekend. Putting big ticket items back on the table. I could warn you against impulse purchases. Especially under a Libra full moon. But that would be futile. Sunny says. Seriously Aquarius. It's a Libra. Zipper's optional full frontal moon. Unless shopping is foreplay. Sunny wants to know. WTF. Editor note. Shopping might actually be a form of foreplay for some signs. Sunny's a Scorpio so he might not get it. But I'm sure he'll have a lot of time to figure it out while he's parking the car for us. Next. Sunny heard Uranus might cause unexpected events at home. Make sure you lock the door if the camera is rolling. Dearest Pisces. A dreamlike facade fills the air with hope. Inspiration. And all things Pisces. Go Pisces. For most Pisces. This is about as good as it gets. So get out and shake some love jam. Whatever that is Sunny. Next. Dearest Pisces. Okay. 
You are attracting like a supercharged love magnet right now whether you like it or not. So, make sure you use it to your advantage. In other words, dearest Pisces, sell it baby. And not just to anyone. You are blessed with the gift of choice right now. So you know the action. Choose both. Ariel didn't get all of that stuff under the sea by only letting one guy play with her shells. Before you jump into being everything to someone right now, make sure everything is already in it for you. Although it may sound like Sonny is advocating for an excessively interesting hay ride, he's actually recommending that Pisces do the impossible this weekend and follow their heads instead of their hearts. Whatever. The moon in. Loose in the zipper. Libra will be transients your eighth house of let's get it on. Is that a little fishy fin I feel on my thigh? I kind of like it. Finally. Love appears to be extra strong for Pisces in Ohio. And Pisces drummers in Florida. Wink wink. Sonny says good luck everyone. He wishes everyone finds what they are looking for in love. Remember to share the horoscopes everyone. And I'll see you soon.